Hi, my name is Gilad. I'm a product manager in Elastic, the company that develops Elasticsearch. And in this video, I'll demonstrate how to create an ephemeral runtime field, a runtime field that exists only within a particular query. And I'll use arithmetic operations to get to the calculation of the value. Runtime field is the name we gave to our implementation of schema on read, which means the value of the field per document is calculated only when a query requires it and not when the document is ingested into Elasticsearch. So let's start by uh, looking at the data that we'll be using. So I'm looking at my Kibana screen. I'll go to add data and to the sample data. And I'm using the sample data that all of you can have in your Kibana and the uh, sample web logs. Just load that one. And I'll head on to the dev tools. And I'll start by throwing a search at the Kibana sample data logs, just to see the structure of the documents. And I'll specifically relate to the RAM in the machine. So machine.ram. Here the value is in bytes. And I want to calculate the value in gigabytes and to round the value down. It's not something that everyone will be using. So I don't want to pollute everyone's schema with this information. I'm just creating a private, so to speak, uh, field that's just available within this query. So the whole thing is in a call to the search API, the same API that we use to see uh, this document. But instead of starting with the query, I'll start with a section that's called runtime mappings, which is where you define runtime fields that are just for this query. I'm starting with the name of the field. In this case, I called it run floor GB, not very original, but informative. And I give it a data type, the, just the variable that we're using, in this case, long. And the next thing is the script. The script is written in painless. Painless has a syntax that's similar to Java and it exposes uh, quite a few Java libraries. We use painless because it's both secure and fast. And the whole thing has to be uh, wrapped in an emit or the value that I will end up putting in the field has to be in an emit command. So I'm starting with an emit and everything in the these brackets will go into the value of the field. I have to refer to the machine.run field. So this is the syntax for referring the, to the value of the machine.run field. Uh, machine.run in second quote, then the whole thing in square brackets with doc before that. And I'm asking for the value. So dot value, not the length or anything like that. The simple arithmetic operations are just with a sign. So in this case, asterisk 9.31 means multiply this value by 9.31. And then I want to multiply it by 10 to the power of minus 10. And for that, I'm using the math operation, the math uh, li Java library and the pow, which means power method. And I'm indicating 10 to the power of minus 10. I'm also running, uh, uh, and then I, I'm asking for, uh, I'm running a floor, math floor on the whole value, on the whole multiplication. And I'm casting the whole thing into long using the dot long value, uh, because the, the end result has to be long. So all of this section here is where I, define how to calculate the field run floor GB. From here on, it's just a normal query that happens to use the field that I defined before. So it's good practice to define exactly the fields that you want and not to ask for the source. So I'm saying fields and in the square brackets, I'm defining run floor GB. That's the only field I need. I don't need the source that came in with the document when we ingested it into Elastic. And I'm doing a range here. I'll ask for those that have uh, RAM floor GB between 20 to 40 gigabytes. And we can see the result here. Let's see, the result with 
winning now, etc. Um, I can do something different and change the rain to uh, say uh, 0 to uh, 20 and uh, of course I'll get different result this time with the, the values in this range. Now usually in practice what you'll do is you'll have queries that have multiple uh, conditions in them or multiple filters in them. So I created a new query here that has the same definition of the run floor GB, but in the query section, I'm asking for two fields, the run floor GB and the timestamp, and I'm creating two ranges. One range is on the timestamp, anything that's greater than this date, and another on the run GB between zero and 20. And if we run that, we, we get the results that answer both uh, ranges. The importance of this is uh, that you can combine all your fields, the indexed and those that are calculated just at the query time. And the engine will automatically make sure to do as much of the heavy lifting of the filtering using the indexed uh, fields, which are, of course, uh, which provide faster query performance. And then you end up um, calculating the runtime field for fewer documents and the impact on your query performance is uh, mitigated. Thank you very much and I invite you to uh, open a trial environment uh, in our cloud and try it for yourself. Thank you.